One application of using derivatives is finding the tangent and normal lines to a graph. Now the derivative, its meaning is the derivative gives you the slope of the tangent line at any given point. So first let's describe the relationship between the tangent line and the normal line. So if we had a graph and we had some curve like so, and I wanted the tangent line at this point, the derivative would give me the slope of that line, which would probably look something like this. So remember that the tangent line is the line that touches the graph just at that one point. The normal line is the line that's perpendicular to that, that would go something like this. So this one's the tangent line, and this one is the normal line. So if the derivative gives us the slope of the tangent line, to get the slope of the normal line, we just need to figure out what line, what slope would be perpendicular to that slope. Well, remember that for two slopes to be perpendicular, if you have a slope m, perpendicular would be negative 1 over m, which is the negative reciprocal. So if you're looking for a normal line, you're going to do the negative reciprocal. Many questions are going to ask you to find the equation of the normal line to a graph. So first you need to take the derivative and find out that slope. That slope is going to be the slope of the tangent line. Then you do this to find the slope of the normal line. Now to find the equation of a line, not only do you need a slope, but you need a point. So you need this point, let's call this coordinate x, y. So many times the problem will tell you, let's find the tangent line at x equals a number, and then you know the x. So all you need then is to find the y, and remember that finding the y is as simple as plugging that x in to your original function. So let's do a quick example. So let's say we have the function 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, and we were asked to find the equation of the normal line at x equals 0. So what we need to do first is find the slope of the tangent line because then we can find the slope of the normal line. So in taking the derivative of this, we are going to get the slope of the tangent line. So let's call this f of x. So our f prime, our derivative, would be 6x minus 2 using our power rules. So this is the slope of the tangent line at any given x on this graph. Now we're told it's at x equals 0, so all we need to do is plug in 0 for x. f prime of 0 would be negative 2. So negative 2 is the slope of our tangent line. Well, we're trying to find the equation of the normal line. So we need the slope of the normal line. The slope of the normal line is just going to be the inverse reciprocal of that. So our slope is going to be one-half because we take negative reciprocal of negative two. Now we have our slope. If we wanted to find an equation, we just need a slope and a point. Well, we know that x equals zero was the x. All we need is the y, and to get the y, you just plug that right back into your function. You can see here if we plugged in zero, we would get one. So we have the m equals one-half, and our point is at zero, one. All you need to do now is make a line using that. And you can use point-slope formula or y equals mx plus b to do so. I'll use the y equals mx plus b. Our y is 1, our slope is 1 half, and our x is 0. So we have plus b, which we don't know. Since this is going to be 0, we get that b is equal to 1. Therefore, the equation of our line is y equals 1 half x plus 1, using the slope and the intercept for any point y and x, and this would be the correct answer to this question. So the tangent and normal lines are a very closely related topic, but remember that the derivative always gives you the slope only of the tangent line. So if you're asked for the normal line, you're going to have to do the inverse reciprocal of that slope and then find the equation of the line.